Hello, my name is Tim Mackey and I'm a field systems engineer with Yamaha Unified Communications. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about working from home and the Yamaha YBC 200. You know, when you first start working from home during this, you might start thinking to yourself, I need to order a nice camera. Well, the camera on board your laptop is more than sufficient for a single person, single endpoint video conference. You're much better off spending the money on a product like the Yamaha YVC 200. The audio is far more important than the video on a video conference. Uh, I used to joke during some of my presentations that if you lose video during a meeting, you still have a great meeting, but if you lose audio, all you now have is surveillance. So for me, the A and AV is far more important than the video. So spend the money where it counts on the audio. We've all experienced bad audio and audio is critical. So that's my first tip. My second tip from working from home is dual monitors. Um, as you're doing video conferences, you're gonna want the participants on one screen and your content on the other. As a presenter, if I'm doing a PowerPoint presentation, for example, and I'm in presentation mode with PowerPoint, I can't even see my notes section without dual monitors. Um, doing Excel spreadsheets, expense reports, a lot of the things you're now doing from home are gonna be really beneficial to have two monitors. Another tip I have, when I'm on the road, I take an HDMI cable with me, I get to the hotel and I turn that hotel television into my second monitor. Nothing like having a giant size second monitor, right? So you can do the same thing at home. Grab a TV if you need to, an HDMI cable. Get yourself a comfortable setup with multiple monitors. You'll find it, it goes a long way than trying to work from just your laptop while you're at home, especially for any extended period of time. The other tip I have is the office chair that I'm sitting in. I didn't realize till I worked from home the office chairs are rated for time. I bought an eight to 10 hour chair. In retrospect, I should have bought a 12 to 18 hour chair. You're gonna be spending a lot of time in the chair, more than you think, get a comfortable one. That's definitely a good tip for me on that one. The another tip, soft music, local radio stations, stream some Pandora or some Spotify, you know, whatever your platform is. I find having a news update or hearing a DJ now and then helps me feel connected to the world beats that feeling of isolation while you're spending eight hours alone working in your room. Last tip, take plenty of breaks. You know, take your dog for a quick walk, get up and stretch around. Whatever you do, don't take those breaks in the kitchen. Trust me on that one. So let's talk about the YVC 200. As you can see on my first monitor screen here, it is available in wider black. Um, I have the black one here. What it is, is a very elegant form factor. It's an awesome speaker. It is 88 decibels at half a meter. That's pretty impressive for a USB powered device in this, in this uh, product category. It also has an omnidegree, uh, omnidirectional microphone element. This means it picks up in a 360 degree pattern. I don't have to be quite so careful about how I orient it. Plus, when I'm on the road in a hotel lobby or I'm back at work in the office environment, I can have a conference with a few of my coworkers because it does pick up in 360 degrees. The other nice thing about it, I like to mention, my coworkers tease me about it because I bring it up so much, is this bag. It's a neoprene, it's like a scuba suit bag. Nothing worse than getting a great Road Warrior product and six months down the line, the canvas bag is fraying and the zipper's broken. This thing's been awesome, coffee proof. It's got a great pouch for the included cable. And again, well thought out all the way around on the physical side of this product. So let's talk about the feature sets within the YBC 200. It has two main interfaces, USB and Bluetooth. The USB connection is a native driverless USB. That means simplicity, especially when you're plugging it into multiple laptops or maybe you're using your home computer. You plug this in, you open your soft conferencing platform, go to the camera, excuse me, go to the mic and speaker selection, and there's the Yamaha YBC200 right there in the drop-down menu for you. It supports near-field connection. There's a little logo right here. So if I'm an Android user, I could tap my phone on it to facilitate the Bluetooth connection. There's also a traditional Bluetooth button for pairing with your phone. When I first got my 200 and plugged it into my laptop, I was listening to my music, the phone rang, the YBC200 automatically transitioned to the Bluetooth audio. As soon as I was done with my phone call and hung up, it seamlessly transitioned back to the USB audio. So two interfaces, Bluetooth, USB, 
uh, seamless transitioning between the two. The next thing I noticed on my YBC 200 when I first got it, when I unplugged it from the computer, the LED stayed on. That's when I found out this has a 10 hour battery in it. That's a real game changer and I haven't seen that in any product in this class. 10 hours of battery means you can be on the road, on the go, while you're working at home. You can have a conference out on your back porch. You can Bluetooth to your phone wirelessly and be in the yard and be talking to a coworker. You know, think outside the box while you're trapped at home. Break it up a little bit. A 10 hour battery on this really changes this product. I've been on the road where I've taken this out poolside, listened to music for a few hours, go back in, have a conference with some coworkers at a high top in the lobby of a hotel, and then listen to a movie from my laptop later on that night. The 10 hour battery is, is really a game changer in that segment for me. The next is the headset port. On the back here is a headset jack. This is really huge. I haven't seen that on another product like this. That enables me to have my earbuds in. I've actually had a conference call in a noisy Starbucks and the, the people around me can't hear my video conference because I'm, it's privately coming through my earbuds. And with the technology under the hood with this product, the far end could hear me perfectly, even in a noisy environment. And I'll tell you about how that happens. It's basically anybody can make a decent microphone element, in my opinion, and an okay speaker. We make phenomenal of both of those. But it's the circuitry in between, the technology, all the processing between the mic and the speaker that make the difference for the YVC 200. You know, Yamaha has been in the audio processing business since 1969 in pro audio, and we build some phenomenal products and our technology in the audio sector really is second to none. So let's talk about some of these technologies that make that audio experience so good, regardless of being in a quiet room like this or in a noisy environment. And again, your home can be a noisy environment, right? We may have kids, family members during this time. I know that I have dogs that have barked at an inopportune moment for me. So again, the, te the technology applies to work and at home. What Yamaha has got under the hood here that really makes this thing a world-class audio product is acoustic echo cancellation, dynamic acoustic echo cancellation at that, and human voice activity detection, HVAD for short. That is patented Yamaha technology right there. The HVAD, we'll talk about first. And what that does is Yamaha is actually able to see human speech patterns. Human hearing is from about 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, and human speech lies in that range. Most products work around that bandwidth range because they can't differentiate between human speech and other noises in the human speech range. We can actually see the speech patterns themselves. We can fully differentiate between speech and background noise. So the HVAD helps us on a number of fronts. One, with that feature I mentioned, being in the noisy Starbucks, when I'm not speaking, the microphone is automatically muted, irrespective of the mute button. The technology can see that all it's getting right now is background noise from Starbucks. I'm not speaking, so the mic's muted. The second benefit of HVAD is that noise cancellation. Because we can see uh, HVA, because we can see speech patterns in that human speech range, we can do noise cancellation across the entire spectrum. A lot of competitive products have to work around that speech bandwidth area because they can identify human speech. The HVAD technology really separates our products. That technology is in uh, all of the product range, by the way, in the UC lineup, the 330 and the 1000 as well. They actually add in a few more features. But the powerful technology is even available in the YVC 200 at $189.99 price point. This really is second to none in this product line as far as I'm concerned, in this product segment, I mean. The HVAD is also um, coupled with ultra wideband audio. So if your platform requires that you have an ultra wideband audio device, again, the Yamaha YVC 200 fits that bill. Last but not least is the interactive uh, touch capacitance buttons. There's your volume up and down there. One of the coolest things I noticed about this when I first got it was this speaker mute. When I'm playing music and I have to quickly mute, all I have to do is this, and it mutes the speaker. I don't have to fumble on the laptop for the little key for muting. Sound on, sound off, as well as the very intuitive and back on. So I should have been muted right there for you. The adaptive echo cancellation, you'll notice I'm holding this thing and moving it around. 
that is where Yamaha's adaptive echo cancellation comes in. If you put this by your laptop and move your laptop lid back and forth with a competitive product, you're going to find some horrendous noises get sent to the far end of that conference. Right now, I am moving this thing around, and it is having to deal very quickly with rapid changes in the echo path from my voice. Adaptive echo cancellation is what's doing that. It's very powerful technology. None of the products that we compete against in this segment can perform like this thing does when you start moving it around with the adaptive AEC. In fact, this, this product is monitoring the environment constantly, looking at the reverberation of the room it's in and making adjustments for your audio. So, you know, a quick recap, driverless USB, Bluetooth and near field connection, 10 hour battery, a privacy headset jack, um, the adaptive exo can echo cancellation, the HVAD, ultra wideband. And again, what that means for this product is a frequency response of 200 hertz to 20,000 hertz with the product itself. It sounds phenomenal, it really does. Uh, intuitive active buttons, easy to use, great pouch. And that's pretty much the YVC 200 in a nutshell. I think I pointed out that it's available in white here. On my other monitor, I'd like to point out one more thing. And that's the human connection link on our front page. It talks about some real experiences of working from home. We have a link to our work from home tips as well. So again, thank you for your time. I hope I sounded great today on this Yamaha YVC 2000, uh, 200. My tongue may get tied, but my uh, audio device still sounds great. And I look forward to hearing you too and you enjoying the audio of Yamaha once you get yours. Thanks for your time, everybody. Be safe out there.